Hello and welcome to another Fathead News Squad Builder. With Frank Lampard being the latest Premier League legend to end up in the MLS, we thought we'd see if we could put together a full squad of Premier League to MLS converts. Now the term legend is used loosely there because some of these guys are very much not legends. Some of them went to the MLS via other leagues and one of them barely registers as a Premier League player but it's just a bit of a laugh. So in goal we've got Portland Timbers keeper Donovan Ricketts. Perhaps Cesar would be the obvious choice but I've gone with Ricketts even though he was only at Bolton for a year and never actually played a game for them. I've had to go three at the back, which I hate because of the players we're using. So our first centre-back is one of the only players in this team besides Frank Lampard to have picked up a Champions League medal. Jimmy Traore grabbed one with Liverpool in 2005 and is now playing for Seattle Sounders. The other player who took a Champions League medal, along with many other honours, out to the States with him is Mikhail Silvestre, who now plays for Portland Timbers. And our last centre-back also plays for the Timbers. You just saw him there, Liam Ridgewell, who very nearly made it into our most hated team. His West Brom card picked up plenty of downvotes, but there's been a positive reaction to his move stateside. He just recently picked up an inform, along with a position change that makes him fit very, very nicely into this team. Nigel Rio Coca now plays for the Vancouver Whitecaps after moving there in 2013, and Tim Cahill left Everton to become a designated player for the New York Red Bulls in 2012, where he set the record for the fastest ever MLS goal, putting one past the Houston Dynamo in just seven seconds. Clint Dempsey returned to the MLS in 2013, signing for Seattle Sounders after a seven-year stint in the BPL with Fulham and Tottenham. In his time away from football, he apparently dabbles with a bit of rapping, but I just couldn't bring myself to look that up. Also at Seattle Sounders is Obafemi Martins, who's still rocking 93 pace. I'll admit it. He's the reason I use Newcastle exclusively in FIFA 09 head-to-head -head matches. My name's Tom and I'm a big fat pace whore. The only striker I'm actually playing in his correct position is, of course, the king, Thierry Henry. We're using his inform from Team of the Week 41 and God help whoever at EA fucked up his commentary name if I ever get my hands on them. Henry. Honestly. Jermaine Defoe has been collecting inform since his move to Toronto and we grabbed the one from Team of the Week 38 for pennies, so in he goes, a bit out of position. And lastly, the man that spawned this idea, released by Chelsea, he signed for New York City FC, who don't exist in the database yet, so we'll have to use his Chelsea card. Thankfully, we've been able to surround him with English players, so that's not too bad. So that's the team, let's chuck a manager in. We've got a few players on low chemistry, but that's part of the fun. No Landon Donovan, but no tears, eh? So the standouts for me were Ridgewell and Henri. When I was buying Ridgewell, he was pretty expensive. I managed to pick him up for 95k, and actually managed to subsequently sell him on for about 135, so made a little bit of profit there but someone seemed to be trying to price fix him at about 175. Anyway, he was pricey, but he's fucking good. He gets everywhere. He isn't too bad in the air and has an incredible standing tackle. Really, really useful if you like to stand off and just try and put a foot in at the right time. He just cleans up everything. He's also pretty good at bringing the ball forward after pinching it and always seems to have plenty of space around him when he does for some reason. It's like a force field around him. I don't think I've used Martins before in FUT14, but he's fast. Very fast. Fast enough to capitalise when people do things like this. How is that still happening? He's a pretty good finisher too. The King has still got it. Of course he has. What I really liked about Henri played where he was in this formation is how often I found him doing this. Back to goal, leaning into the defender to receive a pass. From there it's very easy to spin the defence and get through. Alright, that was a poor shot. But yeah, he's still mobile and he can still finish well. I did score this too with Lampard. I'm not sure if that's naughty or not. I do hate lob through balls as much as anyone else, but I only tried it because I spotted his run really early. He does slightly stretch the laws of what's physically possible, trapping it with his left foot and lobbing it with his right foot in one movement. Lastly, here's a tip. If you're on Xbox One and you're playing with your mates round and you have your Kinect plugged in for voice chat, don't talk about where you're going to put your penalty. It didn't come out terribly well on the capture, but when I was playing this guy, I clearly heard him talk about sticking the penalty down the middle. And, well, yeah. Turn your fucking connect off. So, actually quite a fun team to play with. A couple of standout players in there. Didn't really want to talk about everyone because not everyone shone. Um, but it was a bit of a mishmash team anyway. Just a bit of a laugh. Bye.